Hello, this is David Coyle, and welcome to the first video in our series on alumina multiplexing. In this first video, we're just going to do a simple overview of multiplexing, and then in subsequent videos, we'll get into the details. So what is multiplexing? Multiplexing is simply a way to save money by sequencing multi-samples in a single unit. So in our case, an alumina flow cell lane. Uh, this same technique could be applied to 454 pyro sequencing or whatever, but we're going to talk specifically about alumina. And at $1,000 per lane per run, this is an attractive idea. So there's two ways to think about multiplexing. The first is just to mix highly divergent sequences and sequence them together and then separate them by analysis. You could take a bacterial sequence and a human sequence, sequence them together, and then just align them to the respective sequences. However, you have to be really careful of homology that can mess up the alignments. So more common is what's called barcoding. Illumina uses a slightly different technology, which they call indexing, but in reality, the two terms are used interchangeably, so we'll stick with barcoding. So what is barcoding? Barcoding is simply the addition of a short nucleotide sequence, shown here in purple, that is added to the adapters that are used for PCR amplification. This is the Y adapter that's used by Illumina, and every sequence that's amplified with this adapter will have this unique barcode on it. So basically, you create different libraries, each with a unique barcode, you pool the libraries and sequence them together. And then you separate out these different libraries by the barcodes when you do analysis. So just to show sort of what this would look like, here we have one, two, three different libraries, each with a different barcode. We pool them together, and about a third of the resultant sequences have each of the different barcodes. So what does this look like in analysis? So shown here at the top is a FASTA output from an Illumina run where we used barcoding. The first five bases are the barcode, and the sixth base is the T overhang. So all we do in processing is we cut the barcode, we put it up here, we remove the T overhang, and we remove these first six quality scores. So now we have a processed output. So now we can take everything with this barcode, put it into one file, everything with a different barcode, put it into a different file, and we can do our separate analyses. So just to summarize, multiplexing is a way to save money by sequencing multiple samples in the same aluminum flow cell lane. We do this by using a short nucleotide barcode within the primers. And we can have many barcodes in a single experiment. In fact, you can take an entire 96 well plate, everything with a different barcode, sequence all of those samples together, and then separate them during analysis. So that's multiplexing. In subsequent videos, we're going to talk about all the details. Thanks for watching, and see you then.